feel like I come here almost every day now. Is it about every day? Huh? Oh, okay, well, I'll come again tomorrow then. Bye, guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm supposed to try a half banana, half blue coconut. No. Did you tell you to try that? No, uh, you know who Kim is? No. Okay, well, if you did, then you know I don't really have a choice to have. Oh, have what, to what's up? Thank you. Yeah. You guys want to be on YouTube? Because oh. I'm not allowed to put it up legally if you say no, but if you say yes, you don't care. Does anyone in here actually care? Because I don't want to get sued. Okay, these guys are the Quincy's crew, and they give me a snow cone like every day. And which one of you has the Jeep? Caitlin and Caitlin's a fellow Jeeper, so but she doesn't want. It. Yep. Yeah, she, that's that's like the whole point of my YouTube channel. So okay, bye guys. Thanks for the snow cone. That is Caitlin's Jeep. It's pretty cool. I don't I don't mind it actually. I kind of like the color, and I'm trying to hold a snow cone and steer away from it without hitting it. But I'm gonna hit it. So, ah. Nice Jeep, Caitlin. Looks good. So I actually just got off work. Just hanging out by Quinchies over here, getting my snow cone. One of my co-workers, actually the one who got me to try Quinchies, told me I need to try blue coconut and banana. I like the blue coconut. Oh wow. Oh, she was right. That's really good. My mom interrupted my video. She called me. So basically, I just got off work, and I drove down to the Walmart to try to buy some spray paint, and my card didn't work. I think it was their system. So, I might just have to spray paint my bumper another day, or I'm just gonna use the spray paint I have. I really, really wanna put body liner on it, like the kind that I put in the back of the Jeep, like the bed liner on the new um, bumper, so it'll have like this rough look, but I couldn't buy the paint. So I think I'm just gonna use regular paint on it right now because it's got some rust spots I need to clean up. And then I'm gonna put it on. And also, my parts are supposed to come in today. So I'm either gonna put those on tonight or tomorrow morning. I wanna say it's in the morning because right now it's way too hot and if I do it at the end of the day, it's probably gonna be really hot too. And I don't know what I'm doing actually and I feel like I'm just gonna mess it up. But I don't work tomorrow so I'm gonna try to knock this out. Or I'm gonna procrastinate and I'm not gonna get anything done. But we shall see. Car parts aren't here yet. I heard they'd be here tonight though, so that, that works for me. Good enough for me. Okay, I'm home. I'm home. You miss me? Yeah? I'm home now. Let's go check your food and water before mom chews me out for it being dry and empty. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, your toys, our shoes. Mom's gonna hate it if I put this in the video, huh? Huh? You just make a mash. <laughs> I mean, there was that, there was that SRT, uh, was it, like, I don't know, S an RT, like, crossover of some kind, just, like, sitting there, and I was like, oh, I should race this guy, and I didn't think I was gonna win, he obviously won, but I definitely gave him a run for his money, like, Cara's a little peppy now, you know, she's got that inline six, that four liter, she's boosting out, like, 200 horsepower, that was I actually, it was it was a lot cooler than I thought. We actually were like right there for a good few seconds. Just it was it was pretty cool, guys. Up's truck is here. I see. I can see. I can see. Wait. The Up's truck. Okay. The Up's truck is here, dude. You know what that means? It means. It means he's bringing car parts. Boy, bringing my car parts. Here for this guy. Bye, ups man. Hello, car parts. Excuse me, Kai. This box is coming down. Yeah, those are mine. Those aren't yours. I'm sorry. 
They're not, they're not, it's not from um, Chewy.com, it's uh, it's from Quadrotech. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, it's, and I was just kidding. Like, Hi, I think I made a mistake in giving you the wrapping. <laughs> oh boy. I have to clean this up, don't I, Mom? Huh? No? no. I do? Yes. Ah. You, you seriously, Kai? It to him. It's your dog. You're mad. He looks so happy. Look at him. He's happy. Okay. It's, it's not happening. Anymore. Why? <laughs> so. Oh, strong. Now that I actually got the parts in, I got to do a little bit of the research to actually try to figure out how to put these on. I actually didn't think about that before. My bad. So, I actually, I bought this drink holder for the Jeep, and this is actually that $10 one, I forget what it's called, but it like mounts where your speakers are, or like when the where the windshield mounts on, so it'll be like over on the side. And it has really mixed reviews. Most people say it's pretty flimsy. It actually seems to cool the coffee cup pretty good. Like. I don't know, I don't know if I'd want to take this, like, a coffee cup like this, because I can still see it flashing out everywhere, but it's nice to know that I can at least hold it. I guess if I'm not driving, it still works. So. My sister's playing Jane Animations really loud! Oh, she turned it off. it! And so now, I actually came to the realization that I won't have time to change the traction bar. Oh, that's not the traction bar. The... Kai, help me, I forgot what it's called. I literally can't remember what it's called now. Yeah, I think. Change. It's a bushing. It has a bushing. Tie rod. I won't be able to change the tie rod bars on the Jeep today, so I am doing other things. And among those things, let's make them pizza. About once every week, we have this time when we all come together as a family and watch mom make us pizza. Homemade. From scratch. Like, I'm gonna knock this stuff over. Let me see. This is mine, so I can touch it. This is the pizza dough. This is my pot. Me dumping the pizza sauce into the pot. And the paste. It didn't even move. <laughs> I stir all the pasty sauceness together. I make a mess and don't tell mom. Put it over the flames and I continue to stir the pasty sauce stuff. Wait. I made the sausage. I made the sauce. Oh, and, then Nicholas, and now I'm gonna make the pizza. Like Mom, I don't think you understand what I'm doing. I made a pizza. See? I snapped my fingers and I made a pizza. Do you understand? Are you arguing your recording Look at Mom being all sinister. She has a, knife, a spoon. It's no whatever that is sharp weapon. It's scary. <laughs> because um, I wasn't able to actually get the thing put on the Jeep. I forgot what it was calling it. Tie rods. I wasn't actually able to get the tie rods on the Jeep. I decided I'm going to do something else today. So I started painting this bumper that I got. It didn't really need painted like in the front. It looked okay and everything. The paint was fine, but it did have some rust spots. And I think the guy who had it before, well, not the guy I got it from, but whoever had it before him, like Plasti Dipped it, which is kind of a problem because Plasti Dip doesn't really come off with sandpaper. It was really annoying. Um, it's not perfect, but it looks better, I think. Woo. I mean, it looks like a bumper, so it's rough and rugged. I just need to get the the biggest concern for me would be the rust. The paint itself isn't that big a deal, and it was basically a free bumper, so it looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna see if I can put it on, but I'm a little worried because I think that the bumper on my Jeep is actually a little crooked for where the bumper is. The actual frame of the Jeep is crooked from the accident it was in when I bought it. Um, 
So I'm not sure it's gonna just bolt right on. So I'm kind of crossing my fingers on this one because I was having trouble lining it up when I was trying to put it on. I'm walking around my house looking for these bolts for the bumper. The whole bumper idea flopped because I can't find the bolts for it. I literally, like, I've looked everywhere. Trust me out at this point. Can't find the bolts for the bumper. It's not in the Jeep, I promise. And if it was, it'd be gone by now. Hey, I found the bolts. And the sunset is beautiful. It disappoints me because it seems like I always miss the sunsets. And I like sunsets and sunrises, and I never get to see either of them. Well, my hair looks amazing. Actually, my hair's looked amazing ever since I got home. After I got home from, uh, what was I? Work. Yeah, it's late. Sorry, I'm getting tired. So after I got home from work, I took a shower and I never did my hair after that. So it's just like this poofy net mess of like 80s style hair. I look so weird. So uh, now I'm actually outside at the moment. It's about 11 o'clock or whatever. And I am actually making the video that is going to come right after this video where I will be giving a tutorial on how to change the tie rods on a Jeep Wrangler YJ. I was trying to find a video tutorial about it online earlier and I, I kind of found a few but nothing I was really like, I really felt like was giving me the information I needed to actually do it or the, I guess the information I wanted. So I'm gonna take that opportunity to figure it out myself. I'll give you guys a video on how to do it. So if any of you are wondering how to take the track bar off of, oh my word, the tie rods off a Jeep, you can just, and then a tie rod, fix, change, whatever. That's what the video is gonna be, how to change the steering kit on your Jeep Wrangler YJ. So we'll just do that now and I'll get right back with you when I'm done making this tutorial video. It's about 12.30 and I think I'm ready to hit the hay. But before I do that, I just wanna show everyone how I've been sleeping the last few days. So, it's that hammock I bought. So basically, uh, I have a plan for the hammock, but right now the plan is to get used to sleeping in the hammock because I've never slept in a hammock before, like ever, and so I found a way to set it up in my room pretty easy and I was like, I'm gonna see if I can sleep in it. And I surprisingly slept well, and for the last few days actually, I have been sleeping in the hammock regularly and it's actually not been that bad. It's very nice how breathable it is on the bottom so I don't overheat, which is usually a big problem for me. And I usually sleep on my side or on my face, which isn't good for you apparently. But I actually, I've been sleeping pretty well in the hammock. So yeah, it's been a pretty productive day. Uh, we had pizza, I got a snow cone, and I started working on the Jeep. So I'm just gonna get some sleep now and I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. So yes. Have a good day, guys. <laughs>